Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trendy Viral Now. Today we're looking at Ink Master, where are they now? Let's get right into the video. When Ink Master debuted in 2012, it did so with a modest budget, a less developed format, and no expectations. Sure, Oliver Peck and Chris Nunez are rock stars in the tattoo world, but tons of ink lovers didn't even know their names when the show started. And though Dave Navarro was already a recognizable rock star, he wasn't necessarily the king of the tattoo world. But the show exploded in popularity, and well, the rest is heavily inked history. Almost every artist featured on the show has gone on to enjoy an elevated profile. Moreover, it seems like almost every Ink Master contestant who's made it more than a few episodes owns their own shop. Some artists have been brought back for one, two, or even three more seasons. Some artists have gotten hosting or judging gigs and spinoffs. Some artists have even explored fields beyond tattooing. Join us as we catch up with the talented artists of Ink Master. Oliver Peck Oliver Peck is a legend in the tattoo industry. His art is renowned worldwide, and he was once married to arguably the biggest celebrity tattooist in the world, Kat Von D. Multiple pictures of Peck in blackface emerged in January 2020, much to fans' dismay. Peck soon announced that he and the show had parted ways. Peck admitted his guilt and issued an apology in a now-deleted Instagram post. I look at those photos and it's hard for me to believe that I could have been so clueless, insensitive, and dumb. Peck opined, I hope that I've matured a great deal since then, and I'm deeply sorry for everyone I've offended. For now, Peck is lying low. He's still very active in the tattoo world, however, as he remains a co-owner of Elm Street Tattoo in Dallas and the full owner of True Tattoo in Hollywood, California. Chris Nunez Chris Nunez has an amazing CV. He's a graffiti artist, a hardworking tattoo artist, and a global traveler. And then, there's Miami Inc., the first tattoo reality show to become a major hit, set in the shop that Nunez co-owned with Amai James. Its main competitor at the time, Inked, ran from 2005 to 2006, while Miami Inc. ran from 2005 all the way to 2008. Moreover, one of its artists, Kate Von D., spun off her own show, LA Inc., which ran from 2007 to 2011, while Amy James spun off NY Inc. from 2011 to 2013. But Nunez's longest running show is Ink Master, which began in 2012. Nunez is still a judge on Ink Master, and he still owns his own shop. His Paramount Network bio lists him as a partner in Ridgeline Empire, a content and media corporation responsible for Ink Skins and Upset Gentlemen, as well as an animation company with two series in development. Few developments have been released as to these ventures and Nunez's involvement in the last few years, though Upset Gentlemen's Instagram page shows ties to Nunez and the company's Miami roots. Regardless of where these projects currently stand, they prove that Nunez obviously plans to continue his artistic journey through the world of entertainment, whatever Ink Master's future may be. Dave Navarro As ironic as this may sound, rock star Dave Navarro is the calming voice of moderation on Ink Master. Like any rock guitarist, he has a wild history filled with debauchery and excitement. He's played lead guitar for Jane's Addiction, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and his solo career. He's been a reality host, an adult film director, and was married for a few years to Carmen Electra. Since most of his other commitments lasted no more than five years, and plenty were a good bit shorter, it would seem that Ink Masters is one of his longest relationships. Navarro is set to continue with the show, but it's certainly not the only thing on his docket. In 2021, Jane's Addiction released the documentary Jane's Addiction Replay 2020, complete with interviews with the band's members as well as a seven-song performance from their virtual Lollapalooza performance. Moreover, Navarro was selected as one of the many artists to perform on the one-year anniversary special of Musician Youngblood show. Scott Marshall Scott Marshall was an extremely talented artist who thrived on work combining technical skill with beautiful imagery. In the season 4 finale, he beat out Sausage, one of the most admired artists of the series, who would go on to return several times. Marshall won $100,000 from that finale, and a whole lot of attention. Tragically, 
Marshall died of a heroin overdose at the age of 41, just a year after winning. While he remains the only winner to die so quickly after starring on and winning the show, he's not the only Ink Master to pass away. Alright guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below. See you guys next time. Have a great day.